As a general rule, even if you're trying to solve a geometric problem like finding out where two lines intersect, it's better, if at all possible, to solve the problem algebraically. It will give you more precise answers. So if you want to find the intersection point or points of the lines with the equations minus 8x minus 3y equals 10, 7x plus 7y equals 1, we'll try and solve this as a system of equations. So let's try and solve this using the substitution method. And so that means we'll need to solve one of the equations for one of the variables. So solving the second equation for x gives us, and we'll substitute this into the first equation, giving us, And at this point, I'm looking at this saying, you know, I'm going to get a mess of fractions here, and maybe we don't want to use substitution here. And the bad news is, if the only method you have of solving equations is substitution, you're going to have to solve this equation, fractions and all. Fortunately, we do have a second method of solving equations, and that's the addition method. So let's solve this using the addition method. So the first thing to notice here is the coefficients of x are negative 8 and 7. So if we multiply the first equation by 7 and the second equation by 8, we get... And now the coefficients of x are equal but opposite. So if we add the two equations, we get... And so we can solve for y by dividing by the coefficient, 35. And so our solution is y equals negative 62 35ths. So let's solve for x in the same way. So this time we see that the coefficients of y are negative 3 and 7. So if we multiply the first equation by 7, and the second by 3, we get, and we can add them, and solve, and so x is 67 35ths. So it's important to remember that computers are stupid, and they can't understand what you meant to say. So here we solved for x and y, but if we try and enter these in, the computer has no idea how to handle this input, and it says that this is invalid notation. Well, the directions do say to enter your answer as an ordered pair, so that means we should not have these x equals y equals, but should have a comma between the values. So let's fix that. Wait for it. And it still doesn't like this notation. And that's because an ordered pair should also be enclosed in a set of parentheses. So we have to supply that set of parentheses. So let's check. Our answer is written as an ordered pair with the x-coordinate first and the y-coordinate second. So we'll submit.